Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Nurse, where we break down the nursing curriculum simpler and easier for you to learn. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to perform doses calculations, and then I will follow up with an example. So let's get to it. First thing we want to do is look at the terms. The four main terms that you will usually see when performing dosage calculations is route, medication, dose, and vehicle. The route is how the medication enters the body. Example, um, you will see where it's like initials like PO, which would mean by mouth, IV, um, which is intravenous, and topical, which are like creams and oysters. Next term is medication, which is the actual compound that is completing the, the desired effect. And another term is dose. This is telling us how much of this medication is being administered. And another term is vehicle. This is the way or size of medication is available, such as a tablet or a liquid concentration form. Next, let's look at the formula. The standard formula will be the, the desired dose over the amount on hand times the vehicle, which equals the amount to give. The desired dose is the amount ordered or needed to be given. The amount on hand is the amount that's available to give. Then last, um, the vehicle, of course, like you said before, is the form of medication. So you times it by that and it will go to the um, amount to give and will be your answer. So I've placed a conversion chart right here for you to view. As we go through these examples, you can go ahead and jot it down or take a screenshot to have on hand as we work through, through these problems. So let's go ahead and get started. A nurse is preparing to administer phenytoin 0.3 grams PO every 8 hours. The amount available is phenytoin 200 milligrams a capsule. How many capsules should the nurse administer per dose? So we're going to break this down into steps. So for step 1, we want to ask, what is the vehicle? What do I need? And the answer will be capsule. Step two, what is the desired dose the nurse should administer? What is the order? And that will be 0 0.3 grams. Step three, you want to ask what is the amount on hand or available? And that answer will be 200 milligrams a capsule. Step four, you want to check to see if you should convert. And the answer will be yes, because we have 0 0.3 grams in the order, but available we have 200 milligram capsules. So we want to look at our conversion chart. We see that one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. So we will take 0 0.3 times 1,000, which will give us 300 mg's, milligrams. Then last step five, we want to set up the equation. So we have the desired zones, which is 300 milligrams. The answer we just got in from step four. Then you um, divide that by the amount on hand, which is a 200 milligrams. You times that by a vehicle, which is one capsule, so that'd be one. And that equals 1.5 capsules will be our answer in the amount to give all right so that's it for today's video if you have any questions drop them down below in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching bye